Okay, hi, welcome back to the series of functional safety sessions. I am Dr. Krishna Hema, your functional safety expert. Today, we would like to discuss about FMEDA. FMEDA stands for Failure Mode, Effects and Diagnostics Analysis. So, this is to find out efficient hardware metrics which results in fail-safe automotive components. That means robust automotive hardware components. So, helps to identify additional safety mechanisms. These hardware metrics helps us to know the capability of hardware to detect and overcome random faults. It ensures the robustness of hardware architecture by identifying the weakness in design. FMEDA quantitative analysis is the analysis of random hardware failures against safety goal violations. So the inputs to FMEDA is uh, safety goals, bill of material, and failure rate, technical safety concept, that is TSC, and hardware high-level design or hardware architecture design or HSI document, that is hardware software interface document, hardware schematics, and component data sheet, hardware FMEA, temperature profile, machine profile, safety mechanisms list. So these all to be there as an input to, means like to initiate FMEDA. Fit, fit is nothing but failure in time. So to calculate fit, we do manually and we do with the help of tool as well. So one fit equal to one failure in 10 power nine uh, device hours a device operating hours so manual fit calculation is through uh, analysis of data sheets of this same or similar component and uh, from reliability catalogs or customer provided data so there is a standard for this reliability catalogs that is iec 623380 and uh, using tools is like creation of bomb library a bill of material library Failure mode coverage added to safety relevant components uh, and some of the examples of these tools are Access Medini, SOPS and FS. What are the important things in fit calculation? It is like bomb analysis, a bill of material analysis, design schematic analysis, uh, identification of safety mechanisms, identification of failure modes, find fit value for all the components inside the hardware architecture. So here is the sample fit calculation which is given in this following table. So the element which is considered for this is ALU. ALU is a processing unit and the fit value is 0.348 here and the failure distribution is 25% and 50%. Here HE is represented as hard error that is permanent error. Soft error is transient error or the temporary error. And uh, we have severities here that is negligible, dangerous, critical, and another negligible. For dangerous and critical, so safety measure is identified and diagnostic coverage for the dangerous is 90%, the critical is 60%. So what is diagnostic coverage? A measure of the system's ability to detect failures. This is a ratio between uh, the failure rates for detected De detected dangerous failures to the failure rate for all failures in the system. Uh, so if you see here the below formula dc equal to uh, sigma lambda dd by sigma lambda dd plus sigma lambda du. dd is detectable dangerous failures by uh, detectable da dangerous failure plus undetectable dangerous failures. This is the formula for dc or diagnostic coverage. Diagnostic coverage can exist for the whole or parts of the safety related system. For example, diagnostic coverage could exist for sensors and or logical system and or final elements. So here is uh, other formulas like uh, diagnostic uh, coverage effective in terms of percentage is given as DC1 plus DC, DC2 plus DC3 by 2 into 1 minus DC1 
this is this is given as uh, it is a sample value that is 95.5 percent and dc average is dc1 by mttf is mean time to failure d1 plus dc2 mean time to failure of defect 2 plus so on dcn by mttf dn by whole divided by 1 plus uh, 1 by mttf d1 plus 1 by mttf d2 plus so on 1 by mttf dn here is a denotion for the dc coverage that is uh, if it is less than 60% then it is none, if it is uh, in between 60% to 90% then it is low, if it is 90% to 99% it is medium, if it is equal to or more than 99% then it is high. Uh, so here is a sample which is given uh, for uh, given here like uh, for the power supply element. Uh, it is considered as 60% or low when under and over voltage occurs and uh, in addition to this thing like if we have voltage different oscillations then it is considered as medium and uh, if you have power, power spikes or surges in, uh, in power supply then it is considered as high. So SPF, LPF, PMHF calculation. So I have, I made another video called hardware metrics. So I will provide a link for that video in the description session to learn all these things. Outputs of FMEDA is DC identification, that is diagnostics coverage identification, total fit value, that is failure in time value and hardware metric report uh, generation with the SPF, LPF, PMHF values based on calculation. So these metrics helps us to know the capability of hardware to detect the detect and overcome random falls. Uh, so and ensure on robustness of hardware architecture by identifying the weaknesses in it. And after completion of FMEDA, our hardware development will become ISO 26262 compliant. It is like if the matrix level is within the goal value, then it is said like our uh, hardware arc development is ISO 26262 compliant. Uh, compliant. And uh, all these work products or the output work products to be reviewed uh, jointly or the joint review to be happen with client or customer safety manager. So I, have, I came to the end of this topic. If you like this video, click on the like button. If you want further more automotive videos, subscribe to my channel. Thank you.